Errol Spence and Sean Porter have finally finalized the deal for the fall. Blessed love and blessed day, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. Errol Spence and Sean Porter have finally come to an agreement to fight. Before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded. Now let's get into it. Errol the True Spence and Sean Porter reportedly have finalized a deal to fight in fall. Now, this news was reported today and <clears throat> I got to apologize to you guys for bringing you guys the news late. I was in the boxing gym today um, working with some of my students. So that it, it, it always happens this way. This news comes out, you know, I'm free all day looking for news to cover. Soon as I get busy, by breaking news comes out. But anyway, let's talk about it. Mike Carpenter again reported this via his um, verified Twitter. Now, Mike Carpenter also reported a fight um, last week between Sean, I mean, not, not, not Sean Porter, excuse me, Danny Garcia and Mikey Garcia, in which Mikey came out and said, hey, this is false news. So we had to look for other sources. So we found other sources. And it says, IBF welterweight champion Errol Spence Jr. and WBC champion Sean Porter have reportedly finalized a deal for a unification match sometime in the fall. According to the bit of the athletic article above the paywall, it's possible the fight will take place in September at the Barclays Center. The article also states that the August 3rd date fell through after Spence 25 and 021 KOs successfully argued that he's a pay-per-view fighter, which you know, good on him for knowing his value, but as, as a greedy and entitled consumer, I must condemn him for making my viewing of this fight slightly more difficult. Um, if you guys have been following this 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 case, I did a few videos um, on this also. Errol Spence was holding out. He might have been in um, conversations with um, with Bud Crawford, but reports have come out that Errol Spence was um, was hustling for money. He wanted more money. You know what I mean? Um, the article continues, but hey, at least we have Adam Kalnaki versus Chris Ariola that day as a consolation prize. So, um, <clears throat> Adam Kalnaki, the heavyweights, is versus Chris Ariola, and that will take place on August 3rd. Um, the article then goes on to say, Nothing much more to say about the fight that hasn't already been said. Spence will be favored as he would be against anyone in the division besides Terrence Crawford. But Porter, 30-2 and, and 1, 17 KOs, is relentless and, dura and durable enough to last, to at least make a fight out of it. Um... <clears throat> breaking news man and you know my opinion i'm glad that this fight has been made finally some finally some stir up some action going on in the in the in the welterweight division we haven't had a unified champion since keith thurman but he was stripped due to inactivity so we have errol spence the ibf champ um welterweight champion against sean porter the wbc welterweight champion and i think that this is a great fight um, like the article said, a lot of people have Errol Spence favored, um, which I don't really see why because he hasn't really beat any notable welterweights. Um, and Sean Porter has beat some some notable welterweights, and he's fought, you know, who was considered the top. He hasn't fought Errol Spence, but he's about to. He's fought um, Keith Thurman. He's fought Denny Garcia. Lost a close one to Keith Thurman. Um, beat Denny Garcia in a close one, you know what I mean, and just came off of the fight against Ugas, and he lost to um, Kel Brook as a welterweight, which Kel Brook is just, was just a monster of a welterweight, much bigger than um, <clears throat> than Sean Porter, but I think that this is a, a, a very good fight, I think this, this fight will answer a lot of questions about Errol Spence, because we know about Sean Porter, we know what Sean Porter is going to bring to the table, he's either going to come out playing football, or he's going to come out and box, in which he showed us that he can box against Danny Garcia. He can switch it up. He can adjust to different styles. He can turn on the football player, or he could turn it off and he could box. You know what I mean? Um, we have yet, we we think that we know Errol Spence is a beast. You know what I mean? Um, religious body puncher, a very great controller of distance. 
great jab, um, just great power overall, great fundamentals, great skill. But we haven't really seen Errol Spence tested this way. Um, like we know Sean Porter is going to test them. You know what I mean? So I think um, for a lot of people, this is going to answer a lot of questions um, about Errol Spence. I think that that's why um, people are excited for this fight because I think even though a lot of people may pick, you know, Errol Spence to win, I can't really just up and say, oh, Errol Spence is going to beat him. Um, this is a 50-50 fight. You know what I mean? And I'm not even really... I'm honestly not even really a fan of the way Sean Porter fights. And if you've been subscribed to my channel, you you, um, you know that. I'm not a fan of the football player um, style. But styles make fights. And that's probably, you know, what he should try to do against Errol Spence. And it will be very interesting to see how Errol Spence um, receives it. How Errol Spence deals with it. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I think for most people, at least I know for me, it's going to answer... A lot of questions about Errol Spence. You know what I mean? Um, we think that we know that Errol Spence is a great fighter, but this is going to be a huge chess. Yes, he fought. Um, he fought Kel, Kel Brook and was getting outboxed by Kel Brook for a good part of the fight until he stopped Kel Brook. You know what I mean? Um, but Sean Porter, in you know, funny, Sean Porter fought Kel Brook and lost to Kel Brook. But um, you know, styles make fights. It's a. This is a. To me, it's a 50-50 fight. Um, <clears throat> I'm interested to see how Errol Spence deals with um, Sean Porter. And I'm interested to see how Sean Porter um, deals with Errol Spence. But I think that it's a great fight. And I'm excited that it's going down. Very happy that they finally, you know what I mean, got some, got some stir up in the welterweight division. Because this is huge. And then on the other side, we have Keith Thurman fighting Manny Pacquiao. For Keith Thurman's version, well, they're both WBA champions. Um, Manny's the regular, and Keith is the super, which the super um, translate into the world. So they're fighting for the full version. So we'll see who wins that. And I imagine, you know, who wins that may be in talks about fighting the winner of um, Errol Spence and Sean Porter. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm sorry for reporting this news late, man. I was in the gym today, and breaking news always seems to come out when as soon as I get in the gym. But um, my young fighters are doing great. I'll, I'll be putting up some video um, of us pretty soon. I might just run some video and do some of these voiceovers, you know what I mean? Some video of me working with the kids in the gym. Um, but I want you guys to tell me what y'all think about this situation great fight i think man possibly this could this could be a legendary fight this could be a um fight of the year um type fight you know what i mean um i want you guys to let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section and y'all know what we say at real life boxing man peace and one love to the whole world not just the boxing world and i want you guys to protect yourself at all times peace and one love so if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel go to the paypal link or the cash app link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video thanks for watching thanks for the support this is real life boxing